Hello again! Good morning! It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it is a beautiful cool day, which is very fortunate because I have some gorgeous color left over from my last couple of paintings. And uh, I was dipping things and it didn't take nearly what I wanted to... what I expected to use. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to do something I've been thinking about. I'm going to combine the couple things I just did. This is an 18 by 24 inch canvas, which has a stretcher bar up the back, which is lovely if you're going to tip things, if you like to do that. So what I did was to put both black and white paint on a white canvas to start with. And I think some of that was pearl. But it made, ooh, double. <laughs> it made some incredibly cool patterns in the, in the black and white paint when I combined them together. And I didn't try and fix them together immediately. I, I used my silicone spatula to spread them around. And I'm not sure I've just done the same thing, but I do have a whole tray of Princeton Catalyst art tools, which I recommend and you can find on my Amazon link, along with my OXO omelet turning spatula, all of which you'll see the usefulness of in a moment. Let's see what's best for that. I think I will try And the cool thing about the black canvas background is that I don't need to fill in any gaps. And that pan of color will come in real handy in a moment. And I may add some more colors to these. I mean some more black or white to some area, which is going to be a lot, a lot of gray in a short, short amount of time because I'm not trying too hard to keep the black that's okay right now for me. And all of this is something that I could utilize in some other situation where I just wanted to do black and white, which is cool. Hey, I'm done! <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. I can't, I can't say that I don't think that I love what I'm seeing because I, I really love black and white myself. I'm going to let some of that paint go over the side. The flat nose front one is my favorite spatula because it just covers so much better than the round front, but the round front is good for getting in little spaces. I'm going to leave some of that paint alone. Put my tools back down so I'm not holding my tools. I always have a wet rag in your studio if you're using the Princeton Catalyst Art Tool Spatulas, silicone spatulas, because you'll need something to wipe off your paint with. Now, I have a shovel and I have a basting brush, and I think in order to use that paint, although I could just take it right off my tray, why don't I do some of that? Why don't I just have fun with ribbons? And then if I like, yeah, why not? You know, <laughs> it's totally, totally cool. I'm happy. That's enough of that for right now. And I will take the rest of it if I can, and use a little shovel or a scoop, depending on how the shovel works, I shovel, and I can add some more colors to this if I want to. I'm going to turn it around because it's unlevel and it's all running in one direction. But not a direction I want it to be running in, and I can also pick to add another color or two in here right now, but we got beautiful cells and beautiful patterns. I should show that that's the color, the yellow I just put down, but um, what I'm going to do make it moist and then just apply it with a shovel. I can dribble it out the end or I can put the shovel down flat And this might just turn out to be really simple. <laughs> Why not? And all these paints will blend with each other. And if I need some other colors, I'll just add them. But I'm not unhappy. With what I've got right now. And I'm 
That's to say the least. I'm pretty happy with what I've got right now. I get beautiful colors in my shovel, but I'm thinking that I, even though I might be tempted to waste the paint, yes, I'm operating backwards and left-handed. No, that's not left-handed. Anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with all of that, and it still leaves me more paint to go. So let's call this really fast and torch it. Thank you, Black Canvas. I love you. We torch to release the patterns in the paint and the bubbles from the paint that we... Let's turn that down a little bit more. The bubbles when we shake the paint. All my paints are pre-mixed in the bottles or added to the bottles, one or the other, or both. And the paint pouring recipe, the GAC 800 keeps my paint from cracking. That's in the recipe written down underneath the video in the description when you open Show More. So even though this is um, this was pretty simple to do, I'm not going to go any further because I, I like how dramatic it is. It's uh, making me pretty happy. The black and the white is awesome. The cells are awesome. The patterns are awesome. And uh, I could drag my, my skewer or my Princeton Catalyst Art Tool Spatula through things and move color and paint around, but I'm very interested in not doing that because I like what I see and I think it's cool and I'll show you what I see and maybe I'll have a look at what you can see and hopefully you could see all of that and maybe it's time for me to climb up on my little ladder. We got 10 minutes left anyway so that was so quick and that might facilitate me being able to use the paint, the rest of the paint that I have that's going to go to waste if I don't use it. So you can see everything that I, see, I can see but not close up. So let me take my glasses off and see if I can put my hand over that monitor so there's no reflection and I can see what you can see. Do you think I need to do anything else to it? I don't think so. The only thing that I see that I would like to do at all is maybe add a few dots. even though they're anomalous dots. It's okay with me. I'd like to put some yellow on there, but um, so it's a little subtle. I'm good. I took my stool away. I didn't stop the camera. Okay, that's not very clever of me. I'm gonna steal some paint for a moment and touch up one spot where it came over the canvas. And then I'm gonna say, I love you guys. Thank you for all the contrib contributions. Uh, if you want to help me and keep my studio rolling, contribute through PayPal and Patreon, and you will be entered in a contest that will be decided on uh, or before December 8th, announced de December 8th. It runs until midnight on December 5th, and um, I have Instagram and Pinterest, and oh gosh. Oh, check out my, my Teespring that you can't really find a link, but if you see clothing below the video, that's mine. So check that out. It's very cool. I love it, uh, especially the leggings. If you click on any piece of the clothing, it will take you to um, the link to my store. Also, there are more than 330 videos. If you're new here and you like what you see, please, by all means... Please, by all means, go and check out some other stuff. I imagine you might like it. So I could get a lot more complicated here, but I'm going to try and back off and move away. <laughs> move away from the artwork. So I love you guys. Thank you all for the contributions that keep me painting, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now. Priscilla out.